Hey guys, how's it going? So, by far, the most annoying thing about any video edit is the time spent staring at your computer screen, putting it all together. If I had a nickel for every time I heard someone say, I filmed a bunch of amazing footage on my holidays, on my trips, but I haven't edited anything, then I would have like, probably like $1.40, but still, you get my point, that's still a lot of people. And I'm no different. There's still so many trips, excursions, projects sitting on my hard drive collecting dust. Well, hypothetical dust. Anyway, I digress. Any trick or shortcut you can implement into your workflow will end up saving you hours, days, decades, in the long run, and it'll help you get your edits done much quicker. If you haven't checked out my beginner tutorial for getting started and finishing your first project in Final Cut Pro, then the link will be right here or in the description and that will show you the basics. So without further ado, here are my 10 most frequently used shortcuts and tricks for speeding up my whole editing process. Firstly, the most useful tool which we all know is the blade and the shortcut is Command B. That default cuts through the main clip on the timeline. However, if we select all of them, it will cut through all of them. So now we do that again. And once we have three clips selected or any amount of clips selected, we can right click and hit compound clip. That will flatten and merge all three clips together and we'll apply all edits to those three. If we still want to make edits to our compound clip, just double click on it. And there we have access to those. To return, just hit the back arrow. Creating a compound clip can be useful when you want an introduction sequence or something that is used repetitively over and over again. Once it's compounded, it appears in your files. Shortcut number two, and that is Command R, and that brings up the speed of your video, and I'm using that on almost 80% of the clips. Shortcut number three, that is speed ramping. So if we don't want an abrupt change of speed, we hit Shift B, and that will speed ramp our two clips from different speeds together nice and smoothly as you can see here from 6,000% faster to 100%. So on a clip like this where the drone is zooming away works great. So we hit shift B on the timeline and we make the adjustment of the two clips and adjust the speed ramp. Shortcut number four and that is to dip our audio. So as you can see here this part I'm speaking to the camera and then here is a cinematic sequence we want to change the volume quickly. Before, I used to hold Alt and click four separate keyframes and then pull down the middle. However, now, instead of doing this, you just select R, drag the sequence you want, and pull it down. Done. So next tip is editing clips above the timeline or removing clips from the magnetic timeline. So sometimes when we're editing, we might have a clip that's right on beat and the rest of our edit is also right on beat and we don't want to screw that up. However, if we want to change out our clips or replace the clip, just hit P, lift that clip off the timeline, and now we are free to make adjustments within there. Next up is use the adjustment layer to make mass edits to all of our clips. So let's drag those over all six clips that have similar looks and then make adjustments accordingly. Now let's say we've made some changes to one single clip, but want to paste the attributes over from that clip. Well, we just command C as normal, but then shift command V, and that will pop up this paste attributes window. We select color wheels and paste, and that will apply the same effects and attributes. By going to the top of your screen, hitting Final Cut Pro and preferences, you can change your default color correction to color wheels like I have done there or something else if you prefer that. Tip number eight, and that is to synchronize audio. So we no longer have to get our mic audio and line it up with our in-body audio, like so. What we can do is just go to our clips, select them both, right click, synchronize clips, make sure those are both checked. Okay, and that's it, done incredibly quickly. Now we can drag that onto our timeline, delete those existing clips, and we have our microphone audio, which is much nicer. Style, done. and then we'll just mesh the two audios together from the camera and the mic. Tip number nine, and this is when we're dealing with big projects, we want to create proxy media. And this means basically a low quality version to edit with so it doesn't take so long to render during our editing process. Once you have all the files you want, select view and hit proxy. 
then you will see all your clips turn red and it will show a missing proxy file warning. But don't worry, these just need some time to render out and then you'll be good to go and your editing process will be much faster. When you go to export your final project, switch the files back to optimized, let them render out and export. All right, so the last tip is not really a shortcut, but it's a tool that I like to use. It is green screen. So YouTube any green screen that you want, drag it over top of the selected clips, cut it down, then go into effects, type in keyer, drag the keyer tool over top of your green screen, and there we go. It's just that easy. Takes the win here. So for future Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, I'm going to be getting more technical and specific. For example, how I color grade, how I incorporate sound, masks, effects, plugins, etc. Therefore, if you're interested in learning Final Cut Pro with me, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will catch you in the next one.